So hello everyone. Uh, thank you for being here today at this conference. Uh, my name is Baris Ekerbisser and I am the sales manager of Video Fight for the Eastern Europe. Uh, today I will present you the advantage of video verification. So this presentation will be based on the mentality of video verification, the philosophy. I will not present you the product range of Video Fight because uh, I want first to know to for you to know how this system is works because this is a system that is already used in the Eastern Europe, in the country like Spain, uh, Portugal, France, uh, Switzerland, Germany. And we just uh, start to develop the video verification in the Western Europe for two years now. So you will see uh, some features of this system uh, on this presentation. I think there is a mistake on the presentation. This is not the first slide. Oh, sorry. There? Okay. Okay, it was my fault, sorry. So the value of the video verification is response. So if you get a system of alarm, you need response. So in case of intrusion, the most important thing is the response on this intrusion. So this is the concept of an alarm system. In the event of a crime, customers first want immediate priority response from the police department or, or the law enforcement when the incident is still in progress, not after the incident or the intrusion. We have for goal to catch the bad guys, of course, because if you install an alarm system in your house, that means that you have something to protect on your house. So the first thing you have to do is to catch the bad guys. The best result for an alarm system is the arrest. So if the police can catch this bad guy, the customers who install this alarm system will be happy with you. And how do you create the value? So the value is benefits. With a system with video verification, you can provide to your own customers a better quality of service. So this means that when you install the alarm system, after your customers will be in relation with the monitoring station. If you have a good quality services from this monitoring station, your client will be happy with your company. You can reduce by this way the operating and guarding cost of the companies. So that means that think about you have a private uh, security company and you have also physical guard. So every time that you have to send a guard on intrusion without video verification just because you are receiving an alarm, it's a, it's a cost for your company and also for the operating cost of your company. You can keep the leadership in the alarm markets with the newest technology. Value is quality of services. So that means that in some of the country, it's permit to call the police in case of real alarm. Let me explain you that in Spain now, there is a law, the monitoring station cannot call the police if they don't have a visual verification. A visual verification can be made by CCTV, IP camera, or you have to send a guard on site, and after you can call the police. If you call the police without these things, you get a big penalties if you cannot prove the reason of the alarm. So it's very important to prove to the police that there is a real alarm. And if the police come after the intruders, he will ask you for the proof of this uh, intrusion. By this way also, you don't disturb your customers because when you get an alarm, if you don't verify the alarm, you will call every time your customers that to say that you have an alarm, but this alarm can be generated by your children, by your animal, by a pet. And with the video verification, first the operator do the verification. If there is a real alarm, after then he called the client. So you don't disturb for nothing your client. Value is efficiency. So you have to know that in the alarm markets, 98% of the alarm are false alarm. So it's very important to know this. The statistic of the monitoring station is to have 
they have 98% of false alarm. And in this 98% alarms, also there is only 10% of alarm that this is real alarm. Because on this alarm, you will have also the end user mistake. So it's very important to have this on your mind. 98% of the alarm are false alarm. How the system is works? So uh, in our company, I will not uh, tell you some uh, details about uh, our products, but uh, we have a PIR with integrated camera. So when it detects, when there is an intrusion, when it detects the movement, he sent this video to the panel with a radio frequency. We are using the 868 megahertz radio frequency. The panel through GPRS sent this video to the monitoring station and the, the monitoring station, you can see the video that will see the operators. So in this case, when you receive this video, 30 seconds after the intrusion, you are sure that there is a real alarm. So immediately you can call the police. If you don't get this video, you will take time to explain to the police that you receive an alarm that, uh, from the system, but the, the, the police will not respond immediately. The video verification capabilities. You can see some video that we receive on the monitoring station. So you can see that the outdoor sensor during the night or, and also the rainy day can catch the alarms. So your PIR camera can be triggered by a bird that you can see. The operator will see this video and see that this is a false alarm. He will erase the video. He will not call the police. He will not call the customers. So on these two videos, you can see the night vision of the PIR camera. So we have integrated two infrared LED and you receive this video on the monitoring station. So our goal there is not the quality of the video, it's just doing the verification. We don't do identification. So in many videos also, you can see that uh, there is also arrest. So in the left video, you can see that the guys put hand, uh, the, his hand in the air and the police come after for the arrest. Priority response. So in many countries, especially in the United States, uh, now the priority response is a must for the alarm security, uh, security companies. Because uh, you know that in some uh, parts of the countries, there is the sheriff will go to the alarms. And the thing is, the premises of one alarm system, when the customer is buying an alarm system, he just wants security. He don't ask for anything else. So the first thing that you have to know is one alarm system is provide security, must provide security. Security is not improved thermostat or home automation or lightning management that you say my uh, light will be open at uh, 3 o'clock and will shut down at 5 o'clock. This is not security. The first thing you have to know is developing partnership with the uh, police department. So in your city, normally you have to go to the police department of your city to explain this system to the police department. If you have a monitoring station or, or if you work with a monitoring station that have a system of video verification, you must say to the police, if you receive a call from this monitoring station, be sure that this is a real alarm. So normally after the police must give you the priority response. So the current message with the traditional alarm is I am the security industry and I want to be your friend. I will arm you as, as little as possible. Normally the stronger message must be, I am the security industry, let's make arrest together. So this is the first thing normally that will uh, be with the police department and the security company. Response equals security. So non-monitored alarm, non-response equals no result. So we all know this. The security industry spends millions for battling the non-response law. Too many companies, also the police department, send a lot of money on gas wall, on human resource to go to the false alarm. 
So it's very important to get the proof of the alarm first and after send police or guard on site. Response is what gives monitoring value and also the customers see the value in improved response. So if your customers is monitored by a monitoring station that they have a video verification, he will see that the system has a value for him because one time he will have a false alarm your monitoring station will call him at the beginning to say, okay, we see the video, there is a false alarm, you are in safety, no problem. So the customers will see the value of the system. Video intrusion alarm provides greater verification for priority response because if you install a system like this, you will get the priority response. So for example, if we take these pictures, so you can see that there is a priority line in the left so it's made for the video verification alarms and in the right this is the traditional alarm that they don't have video verification so the whole end the priority lane let's say are not anti-car so the things is you can use them but if you get the video verification whole lens it's to encourage behavior so let's say that when you have a system like that installed in your premises, also your user will change his behavior and also the monitoring station. So it's very important for the customers and the monitoring station to have a good relation. Because you, your job is to install the system and after you, you will not be in relation with your client. Your client will be in relation with the monitoring station. If your client is happy with his monitoring station, this is good for you. He is not happy that means that your system is not good also. The priority lens for video alarms are anti-traditional alarm. So let's say that the priority lens, the, the traditional alarm cannot access because there is a video verification and there is a priority level for this. So the next step is a stronger industry, security company and police department partnership. So if we work together on the alarm security market, it will be more easy for us, for the customer, for the police department to work jointly. What video alarms are not? So the video alarms are not to identify the intruders. We don't search for identify the intruders because we are only doing verification. We just provide the verification, the proof of the alarms. We are not CCTV. We don't do 24 hour surveillance video because in CCTV, if you don't have an alarm system, after the intrusion, you will just see the pictures of the intrusion, the movie of the intrusion, but you will not get, also, you will not get the proof, the alarms. We are not provide live video on demand. This is the job of uh, IP camera. And the system like that must be monitored by a certified central station because there is some uh, things to know about the system, how to handle the alarms. So normally this uh, system must be used by certified monitoring station. So video alarms, you can see one example of an alarm video that's come to the monitoring station. So when the operator see a video like this, there is no doubt, there is a real intrusion. So immediately can call the police with the proof and the video. So it's very important to say the police on the phone, actually there is an intrusion, I have the video on my uh, computer, so there is an intrusion now, so you have to go on site. You can use the video verification with also audio verification. So the video confirms the person presence, is not intended to identify, and the voice verification is confirms that nobody should be on site, on premises. So normally, how it works, when the operator receives the video on monitoring station, normally after he can push just one button, audio button, and through the panel, he can uh, ask the password of the person on site. If this person cannot give the right password, that means that this is a real intrusion. So after he double checked the intrusion, so with video and also with audio.
So you can see also so some videos coming to the monitoring station. So you can see in the night vision that when the crimes uh, happen, there is low light conditions. I repeat, we don't search to identify the intruder. We just want to see if there is a real person or if this is an animal or cat or pet. So it's very important to know this, not identification, but verification. We have three steps before the priority response. So imagine that in your monitoring station, you don't have a system like that, and you start to install a video verification system. You create a new alarm code. We call him VVA, Video Verified Alarm. So in this alarm code, you will create a priority level for this kind of alarms, and you will have a formal announcement to the police department. So for example, it will be my name is uh, Baris Ekerbi, sir. I'll call you from the monitoring station ABC. So when you will see ABC monitoring station, normally the police department know that you have a video verification installed on your monitoring station. So directly, he will start to listen to you. We have a case study for this alarm receiving center. Before the video verification, the alarms were priority two, uh, three, sorry. We create two new alarm codes on the monitoring station, VVAC and VVAR, that means commercial and residential alarm. And for this, the police give a special dispatch. So when you call the police with a VVA alarm, directly the police will know that this is a real alarm coming from a video verified alarm. So he will dispatch immediately the police on site. The video alarms priority one, and the traditional alarms are priority three on this case. I will give you a statistic from a one monitoring station that using video verification system. So you can see that in five years, the monitoring station received 40,000 alarms, so video alarms. In this 40,000 video alarms, only 165 need a dispatch. 93 of this dispatch, normally it's for the end user mistake. So there was a person on the video, so the monitoring station called the police, police go on site, and they saw that this is the user of the system, but th there was a mistake from the user. The real criminal activity is about 72, and the arrest is about 45, and the false alarm rates are 0.23%, so it's nothing. When you think about a traditional alarm system that you have 98% of uh, false alarm, with video verification, your false alarm rates will be 0.22%. So it's a very good number. So the, in the United States, uh, you can see that the, law, uh, the police department is already doing this. And you can see on the Los Angeles Police Department website that a verified bulgur alarm will be dispatched as a high priority call. So this system is already used in US market and the police department also give the priority only to the video alarm. So you will see two videos of uh, priority response. In the left video, you can see the intruders coming on site and in the right video, you can see two policemen coming on site maybe before three minutes after the intrusion. So the system is working. If you have a mutual works with the police department and the police department directly give you the priority response to go on site, this is very important, you can catch the intruders, the thief. So also three videos from a monitoring station. All these videos are real video coming from monitoring station. We are just using it uh, for our presentation. And you can see on this video in the outdoor condition also that you have some intruders on site. So thank you. It's uh, OK for me to listen to me. And uh, I will leave you with this funny uh, false alarm. Thank you.